I always thought my uncle was a drunk guy. I never seen him sober up. He starts in the morning, goes around the village and drinks. But even though he is drunk pretty much all the time, he is always nice to me, looked after me no matter what, always made me laugh with his drunk and funny talk. Every time when he comes to my house of course he starts with drinks and then says, My dear nephew, I love you very much. He used to put me on his shoulder and take me around the village when I was a kid. He is not just the best uncle also a better person inside. Unfortunately, his family don't like him that much because he drinks a lot. In one summer evening, sun was about to set. He came to my house half drunk and started blabbing about the big fish he caught river down the hill and he ate for a week. It takes an hour to get to that river and you have to go through heavy and dark forest. Even in the afternoon there isn't enough sunlight. Surprisingly, there are no lions or tigers or bears or anything, maybe some little harmless animals. He asked me if I want to go with him tonight. I didn't know how to answer that sudden question. I love fishing, but my parent might get angry if I go with him, so I looked at my dad's face. He didn't say anything. His head wasn't moving. Normally, he used to say yes or no with his head tilting up and down or left and right. Uncle looked at me. I looked confused. He said worrying about what your parents going say. Don't worry. Let me take care of that. You go and get ready. We will leave in half an hour. Half an hour later, we head down to the forest. It was scary, but Uncle said, don't worry, I will protect you, and he giggled. By the time we got to the river, it was already pitch black dark. We sat there and fished for three hours, but got nothing. It was really dark. Only light we had was from the fire he started on the sore. But hours went by so quickly because of his jokes and talks. It was almost twelve o'clock. He said, don't worry, we will get some. I said, not sure how we are going to get it. It is almost midnight, and we have to go home soon. Five minutes later, my watch made a noise for twelve o'clock. He said, watch me. He cast the fishing reel to the river and whistled three times and mumbled something. All of a sudden, there was transparent white thing jumped into the river and reel started to pull in. Then he pulled the big fish out. It was very big. It was around fifteen to twenty kilo. He looked at me and said, see, I told you, we will get some. He kind of scared me. Not sure what that was. Maybe it was hallucination. So, I just ignored that ever happened and excited about the big fish. I asked him, how are we going to get this home? It looks very heavy. He looked at me and smiled and replied, I will carry halfway and you carry half. Deal? I said, okay, let's go. He carried that fish on his shoulder and I followed him. Halfway to the mountain, he asked me to carry it. I took a turn and put it on my shoulder. It was heavier than I expected. I couldn't carry it for a long Five minutes later, I said sorry I can't carry it anymore. I needed a rest so we sat under the tree on the floor. Fifteen minutes later, he asked me if I am ready to go. I said no. I can't walk anymore, I am very very tired, and this thing is very heavy. He laughed at me and said do you want me to organize a horse for you? I said haha very funny. He said I am serious. I said where are you going to get the horse at this time of the night? He replied saying let me worry about that. You just answer the question. Yes or no? I thought it would be funny. If I said yes and can't get the horse, so I said yes please and giggle. He said close your eyes. I said why? He said just close your eyes. I said okay and closed my eyes. He whistled three times and mumbled something again. I heard a banging noise so opened my eyes. There were two big horses standing in front of me. When I saw that I was terrified of that, I ran behind the tree and cried of fear. Uncle came after and calmed me down and said, Do you trust me? I said, Yes. So come with me and ride the horse. Nothing will happen to you. I promise. If you are too afraid, just climb the horse and close your eyes. So I followed him to the horses and climbed on one of them and closed my eyes. Uncle took another horse, then he said, Ready to go, champ. I said, Yes, with my eyes closed. He whistled three times and mumbled. It felt like we were flying, but I didn't open my eyes. Five minutes later, we were at the edge of the jungle close to the village. I opened my eyes and climbed down off the horse. He whistled and mumbled again and horses went to towards the forest. It was the unforgettable night of my life. I almost crapped on my pants.